Things that go fast tend to get hot. F1 cars are no different. Some of the hottest and most stressed parts on an F1 car are the wheels. They can rotate 150,000 times in a race and in case brakes that can work at temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius. Road cars use wheels made of steel. No good for F1. It's too heavy and too weak. So, what's the alternative? The material they use is this. Magnesium, which has many useful properties. It's also used in this that I have in my hand, which is... Well, it's a fire-starting kit, which is a worry. And just in case you didn't believe me about this particular property of magnesium, I thought it better to come away from the expensive F1 car to demonstrate. First, scrape some magnesium off. Next, hit it with a spark off here. One of those. And you really want that in the wheels of your F1 car. In rare circumstances, such as when a puncture allows the wheel to scrape along the ground, magnesium rims can catch fire with dramatic effects. So why does anyone use magnesium to make wheels for racing cars? Same again, magnesium is strong and light. On F1 cars, lightweight strength wins over the small risk of fire, and it's one that's worth taking. Magnesium is up to the stresses of rapid acceleration, high-speed cornering and braking. But to make it even stronger, the F1 engineers borrowed an ancient technique for manipulating metal. If you want to shape metal, you can just cast it, melt it and pour it into a mould, as modern smiths Mike Rosser and Craig Jones show me. It will still be extremely hot. I can't undo it. I'm not manly enough. No, it's a test. I can't undo that. How? <laughs> All right, I'm not actually a blacksmith, clearly. <laughs> Look at that! And that's what we just made. One mullet. There we go. Now we just made that mallet. And it's not just simple things like hammers that can be made by casting either. More ornate objects like my sword here. See, that's cast iron. Really quite... Delicate and quite clever. Again, made by casting. Ah! Oh, Lord, I have dropped my sword. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think what I've done there is demonstrate perhaps a weakness. Some things are best made by processes other than casting. Fortunately, they can do that here as well. Chaps, broke my sword. Yeah. Fortunately for clumsy swordsmen and F1 wheels, there is another process which leads to a far stronger end product. The ancient technique of forging. Hit it, basically. Hit so, it, basically, if we there. work in the edges. Forging is the shaping of metal using localised compressive forces. Or smacking lumps of metal repeatedly with a big hammer. So this is forging. Yep. Forging most metal aligns its internal grains, which makes it naturally strong. Yeah, you'll need to put it back in the fire now and get some more heat into it. By contrast, in cast metal, the grains are randomly distributed, creating points of potential weakness. I'll tell you what, while nobody's looking, um, do you want to straighten it for me? Just straighten it out, and then I'll just try we'll, we'll cut this bit out. After many, many back-breaking, arm-wrenching hours at the forge, my blood, sweat and tears pay off. Oh, yeah. That's just about perfect. I did that. All of that. Obviously, normally it would take somebody a long time to learn how to do this. Can you go and finish mine off? I'll go and have a look. Yeah. 
With a little gentle buffing from my glamorous assistant, my sword reaches showroom condition. Thank you very much, thank you. And straight away, my forged sword already looks a lot better than my cast one. It's lighter, is it stronger? Yeah, clearly, that's a lot stronger than my cast one. That's why F1 teams use forged magnesium wheels. Forging is better than casting. And that's before we even consider the weight, because this whole sword, the forged one, weighs less than just this shattered portion of my cast one. And the same is true for wheels. A forged wheel will be lighter and stronger than a cast one. As you'd expect, F1 teams have armies of blacksmiths turning out wheels. Now, not really. The process is somewhat more industrialised. A semi-molten alloy is crushed into shape using a force of 9,000 tonnes. The grains are aligned and you're left with some incredibly strong wheels. Just pray you don't get a puncture. 